Hello, this is Jen from Newton's Neck Designs. Today I'm going to be walking you through our brand new holiday release. This release is filled with everything from cats and dogs to bells and holly, and there's some fun new hot foil plates too. There's something for everybody to love. I'm going to take you through each of the individual new products, give you a close-up look at it, and then I will share with you a few projects that I created using that set to give you a little bit of inspiration. So stay tuned for lots of holiday cheer. To start out, we're gonna look at our brand new hot foil plates. Um, we have three new designs that have all kinds of holiday spirit in them. First up, we have this um, holiday greetings hot foil plate. In this one, you get six sentiments, season's greetings, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, Merry and Bright, and Holly Jolly. And I did want to mention that these will all fit in the banners from our banner trio uh, die set, which was previously released. So you might want to pick that up along with this for ease of just cutting out all these fun hot foils. Next, we have our holiday foliage. Um, this is like a border or a long plate. You can either do it through the center of your card or you could do it twice if you want to fill your whole card front, but it gives you lots of options. And it's just kind of filled with uh, pine boughs and holly and just kind of pretty Christmas foliage. And the third one we have is called Christmas Trees, Hot Boil Plates and Dye. This one is a pairing, so you get the four different hot foil plates and then this die will cut out any of the shape, any of the trees. So all of them will fit inside that one die. So you get everything in the one package, which is really nice. Uh, so you're all ready to go, get them foiled, get them cut out, and then you can make all kinds of pretty cards. Um, we've got a zigzag, one with like the tree branch up the middle, one with some bubbles, and one with a swirly. So I'll show you what I created using all these fun products. First, I have a card using the foliage border hot foil plate with the sentiment season's greetings, and that's from the holiday greetings set. And then I use that banner duo die set I showed you to give it a cute little fishtail cut out. But you can see how fun and shiny that is. There isn't a time of year that's better to add a little sparkle than the Christmas season. And so I feel like this is just going to be so fun to create with this year. Next, I have a similar card, um, but this time I used green. So we have some nice green sparkle on like an ivory color cardstock. And then I chose three sentiments to show you how you could mix and match them together. Merry Christmas in gold foil on a red, Holly Jolly with red foil on a light blue, and Season's Greetings with a, the bright green foil on like a lime green banner. So you can see how fun that all goes together. Very pretty. Then I have two cards using the trees. The first card here, I made a green tree and a silver tree that I used the dye and cut them out. And then for the red one, I just um, fold it right on the center of this panel and I didn't cut that one out. So it gives it a little bit of interest. You can cut some out, leave some flat like that. Um, I also used our frames and flags die set to add this scalloped edge along the panel. And then I used the holiday greetings. Again, this is a green on green, but since the tones of the green are different, it really looks cool. So much fun sparkle. The next card I created, uh, this is the one that I used on our holiday blog hop. This one has two trees. This time I cut them both out um, and then I mounted them on a craft colored rectangle with like a stitched edge uh, that was cut out using our frames and flags die set again. And then I used the merry and bright on a black. It really pops off the black. If you use a colored or silver or gold foil on a black cardstock, that's really pretty. And then the patterns in the background 
um, were from our Christmas time paper pad that has lots of just kind of fun, essential Christmas patterns, trees, uh, dots, wreaths, all kinds of things like that. So if you need some Christmas paper, that's a good one to check out. But you can see how pretty that foil is. So I've been having lots of fun working with this foil and I hope you guys will try the hot foiling. It really just adds that perfect touch of specialness to your holiday cards. Next, I'm gonna share with you our Holiday Elements stamp set. Um, if you follow us, you'll know that last month we did a Halloween apothecary set that was kind of like this, where you had some uh, words and sentiments together and they fit in the labels hot foil uh, plates and dies. And this is the same. You can use these on their own or you can mix them in with our labels hot foil plates and dies, which gives like a fun little edge. And I'll show you that in a minute. But this includes have a sweet holiday just for you with an ornament, happy holidays with a tree, a to and from with holly, made with love with a gingerbread, and you've been naughty or nice and you can pick which one. I'm sure everybody would pick nice, but it's fun to have the option. <laughs> and then just a Merry Christmas uh, horizontal word. And these ones, especially like the Sweet Holiday and the Made with Love, I thought those would be really fun if you make cookies or something like that, a treat to give uh, for the holidays or any sort of gift tag these would be great for. So let me show you what I created with those. First, here's that labels die I was talking about. So this was new um, with our last release, but you can see this one, you get the three labels and the three um, die sets to cut out the labels. So you get six pieces and these labels are fun. They're just a solid edge. So you can um, hot foil that and get a really pretty border. I'll show you what that looks like. So here's a card where I did that foil. I just used the arched um, shape on this one, but you can see I did one in green, one in silver, and this one's in green too, but it's on a ivory colored cardstock instead of white. And that's just a fun way. And you could put any of the images will fit inside those three different label shapes. Now you could put them on a card like I did, or you could make them into tags, or you could add them, um, tie them on a gift, all kinds of things you could do with that. And for this card today, I use the Happy Holidays stamp. And then for the paper, um, I use papers from our Meowy Christmas paper pad. So we have three different Christmas paper pads. There's Meowy Christmas, um, Canine Christmas, which has more like dog themed, and then the Christmas time. But all of them do also include just kind of basic patterns. So you can mix and match, um, in this case, there wasn't a cat on this one, but it still worked for my card. So we've got trees back here, some uh, kitty cane stripes, and then I added a little vellum and a bow. And then this uh, postage edge was cut out using our framework die set. So lots of fun products combined on that card. Another thing you could do is the labels were designed to fit on front of our jar. So the summer we released a jar hot foil. That was one of our first hot foils. Um, and so in this case, I made cute little gift tags. I made jars and then I made labels, both of the hot foils. And then I heat embossed or just in this case stamped the image in the center. So in this, this one here, I did it in gold foil and then added some inking over the top like that. And this one, I did it on a craft colored cardstock, and then I just stamped the sentiment in black. I haven't decided if the recipient is naughty or nice yet, but I will when I add it to my gift. Um, this one, I made the jar on craft paper in gold, and then the arched label, and again, I put ink, I did it on white paper to start and then I inked it green to give it kind of a fun look, a little bow. 
And the last one I have here, I did it on white and I left it white this time so that I had ease of use for writing the to and from. And then um, I just stamped the image in red. So you can see lots of different ways to use that and it looks really cool when combined with our jar hot foil as well. Really fun, really fun way to make some neat tags for the holidays. Next up, we have um, items for cat and dog lovers. So first, uh, we'll do the dogs first. So this one is called Dog Christmas Tree. And you can see there's dogs stacked up to make a Christmas tree with their bodies. And then throughout the dogs, we have this string of lights that goes through here. And the doggy on the bottom has got it in his mouth. Some have it through their paws. It goes through the mouth of that dog there, around this one, and out the side. So just kind of a fun little way to decorate the tree with lights. And the dog on the top has a star on his nose to make the tree complete. Um, you also get a dog bone with a ribbon on it, an extra ornament if you wanted to add it to any of the dogs or just make a background, a gift, and a Santa hat. Same thing, you could add it to any of the dogs or you could just use it in addition. For sentiments, we have, we woof you a waggy Christmas and a possum new year. May your days be hairy and bright or unleash the holiday cheer. So just some kind of fun dog themed puns with that one. And for the coordinating die, if you like to die cut, uh, you get a die for the shape and then for all the little, the four little images as well. Then for the cats, we have something similar. So this is Newton and his friends, kitty friends, climbing together to, to make the shape of a tree. And in this case, uh, Newton must be on the top. He's got the star up in his paw and he's holding it high. Again, we have the... Christmas light string that kind of twines around all the kitties and through the bottom. And then we have two kitties who have ornaments on their tails for an extra fun touch. Um, in this case, you get an ornament, a Santa hat, a mouse with a ribbon. So that would be a good gift for a kitty. A candy cane, a present, and of course a broken ornament because we know those kitties can't leave the tree alone. <laughs> um, for sentiments, we have we whisker you a purry Christmas and a possum new year. So similar to the dog one, but cat theme this time. Tis the season to be meowy and oh cat mystery. And of course, a coordinating die set is available. Um, cuts out the Christmas tree and then all the little images as well. So for that one, um, I'll show you my dog card first. This one, I colored the dogs in just fun colors using Copic markers. Um, and then I cut out the image and I made a hill using our land borders die set. And then for the background pa panel, first I stamped the sentiment so I knew where it was going to be. and kind of laid everything out just to get the spacing right. And then I placed this evergreen stencil set in front and inked that, um, making sure that it didn't cover up the sentiment. So sometimes you just have to think ahead a little bit. I think I may have made it twice until I got it lined up right, but I think it turned out really cute. Really fun to see uh, the puppies creating their tree out in a, their Christmas tree out in a tree, tree farm or a forest, something like that. For the cats, I created this one. And of course I had to color the kitty on the top of the stack, Newton, because Newton would definitely be the cat to climb to the top. So I made an orange kitty on the top holding the star. Um, and then we've got some different colored kitties in here, brown and gray, uh, an orange, another orange one, black and white, um, and then a little red ornaments. 
And then again, I used the land borders die set to make a snowy hill. And this time I added the sentiment, tis the season to be meowy, but I put it on the hill. So that's always a good place to put a sentiment on a busier image card is to find a nice white area where it stands out. And then for the background, I made a snowy sky by uh, inking a blue panel using Distress Inks. And then I took some um, white paste, like a texture paste, um, and use our petite snow stencil. So you can see it just has a tiny bit of raised um, glossiness, just a perfect snowy sky. So that turned out so adorable. So whether you like dogs or cats, we have something for you. And if you know other people on your Christmas list, maybe you're a cat person, but your cousin loves dogs, then I think you probably should get both and you can make cards using both. And if you don't want to come up with a lot of ideas, you could just make the same layout, but switch it from dogs to cats. And that would make it easy because they're very similar in size and shape. And you could just make a whole bunch of cards for the holidays. Next, I'm going to talk to you about our Scandi Christmas stamp set. Um, I've been enjoying seeing all the fun, like Scandinavian Nordic inspired designs. Um, and so I wanted to give that a try myself. And I had a lot of fun creating this stamp set. Um, we've got some kind of basic shapes, so a tree, an ornament, a reindeer, another little ornament. Um, and then inside each shape, though, we have these really fun Scandinavian patterns. So the tree's got two little birds facing each other, some um, little branches, a star, and just cute little images. It just makes it kind of really unique. And then we did the same thing on the two ornaments, just kind of filled them with fun little patterns. And then on the deer, we have some cute little branches and hearts. This makes a really fun looking deer. Um, there's also a border, of like a quilted star border. And then a couple of stars, a branch, a holly, a heart, and a little star here. You could put on the tree or just use it um, for a background or something. Uh, for sentiments, we have happy holidays. Merry Christmas and joyful greetings. So lots of fun options with this set. And then here's the die set. Um, you get dies to cut every all the shapes out, and even that um, border. If you you could stamp it straight on your paper, or you could cut it out and give it a little dimension. So again, lots of fun options with this one. I have two cards to share with that set. First is this card, which you may have seen on our website. Um, this one has the Merry Christmas sentiment. And I took, first I, um, I think I like, cut out a white square that was the size of my card front to start. And then I used a stamp positioner to stamp each row so that if I messed anything up, I could do it a second time. But it actually stamped really well. I didn't really need to do that. And then I just move the paper down a little bit each time to make this fun background pattern. It reminds me of like a quilt or a blanket that you might purchase. Really fun. And then I cut it out again to give it a scalloped edge. I used our frames and flags die set, which has this fun scalloped edge. And then for the main image, I stamped the deer in brown. And for the tree, um, I used two colors of green that I had, a darker and a lighter, to kind of get that ombre look. And then for the tag, I didn't have um, a green paper that it matched exactly, so I just cut out a white tag, or a banner here, um, and used uh, inks to color it to the color green I wanted. And then I stamped Merry Christmas on it. And then the whole thing is on a tag. Now this large tag is part of our fancy edges tag die set. So you get the tag and you get a few different things you can put on it. In this case, I use just kind of the tag hole reinforcer, um, but there's also like a little scallop top and a scallop bottom. So lots of different things you can do with that set. And then I added a little bit of inking along the edges to give it kind of a vintagey distressed look and then added a bow. 
So I love how that turned out. It was really fun to make and it just just kind of a unique, fun look for Christmas, something a little different. Now I created a second version that's similar, but in this case, I just did four rows, two on the top and two on the bottom. And I cut this piece of paper a little smaller. Um, I wanted it to fit inside this edge. And this is the frame work die set. So we have frames and flags and frame work. Um, they both have, they're both around the same size. One is scalloped edges and this one's more of like a postage stamp edge. Um, and then I cut this little white one to fit right inside the stitching on here. I think it's about um, three and a half by four and three quarters to get it to fit inside there, just a square. And then I, in the center, put a piece of craft paper, stamped the joyful greetings. I'll actually embossed it in white put the little holly sprig underneath it. And then again, did a tree in sort of a two-tone green effect. Added a little twine. So another really beautiful card. So I hope that you guys like this set. It's a little different than the what we usually do, but I think it's just so much fun to play with and work with. And it's gonna make some really beautiful Christmas cards. You could easily change the color palette to like blues and purples, um, just, so much you could do. I can't wait to see what everybody creates with it. And our last but not least, we have our Bells and Holly stamp set. Now this set works with our bookmark die set, um, which both of these images would fit on front of the bookmark. And then you could add any of these sentiments as well. Um, so we've got a holly. Well, this is the holly and then the bells. I was going for sort of a vintagey look on this one, just kind of fun images you might see on an old timey Christmas card. Um, for sentiments, we've got happy holidays, which you could use with all the trimmings along with it because we're kind of trimming the halls here. Um, or you could use it on its own. And then wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And then this cute little edge too that you could pair with one of the words or use it on the bookmark. And then you can get a die set for this. It gets the two big images and that little sprig on the die set. So I'll show you what that looks like on a bookmark. So here's a fun bookmark. I put the happy holidays on top. I use the holly branch there and I die cut it out and then I layered it on, but I didn't give it any dimension this time because I want the user to be able to use it as a bookmark. So I want it to be kind of flat. Um, what you could do too, is you could on the back, you could put to and from or write a message, and then you could tuck this in a book and make it part of the gift. That would be fun. Or you could tie it on a package um, and just make it a really long take. And then they could use it for a bookmark later. So just lots of fun ways to make gifts special this holiday. Um, I did use that little sprig on the bottom too. And then I just added a ribbon. Uh, again, I didn't put a big knot in the ribbon because I wanted it to be flat enough to be used as a bookmark. So I just used some twine to secure it. And that's pretty flat. I think that would be perfect for a bookmark. Then I created a Christmas card using this set too. Um, on this one, I used the bells. And I did some kind of fun water coloring on that. And then I cut it out layered it over a couple of ovals that were cut out using our oval frames die set. Um, one out of vellum and one out of green paper. And then I did add a little bit of extra green on the edges that was slightly darker than the green paper just to kind of give it that vintagey distressed look. For the sentiment, I used wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And again, I stamped that onto a yellow circle and then added a little bit of darker yellow distressing along the edge. And then behind it, we have a piece of plaid paper that's from our um, Christmas time paper pad. And I just thought that was a fun touch. It went really well with the bells. And then the card base is an ivory cardstock. So those are all the fun things that you could make using our newest designs. So whether you're in the mood to make Christmas cards, tags, or just have fun coloring, 
there's something for everybody in this release. I think it's it's so much fun to work with the foils. It's so much fun to color the images, um, to make tags. So lots of things that you could do with our brand new products. I hope that you enjoyed getting this closer look. Um, everything is for sale now at newtonsnookdesigns.com. Um, you can find it all in the new category. But while you're there, you might want to go in the Christmas category too and see what else we have because we have lots more than this. And if you're in the mood for Christmas crafting, we definitely have something you would like. So please um, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate you watching us video and helping us um, with our YouTube. So thank you. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we hope you have a wonderful holiday season and a great day.